Second half about to get underway. And they go for an onside kick. And let's see. They try to roll the dice. And I don't think it worked. It looked like number 42 for Gainesville came up on top of that, on that ball as they had the onside kick on. Jake Graham. So now you see Deshaun Watson take off. And Watson breaks down to the North Hall 35-36 yard line. Faulkner over there to help knock him down. Lewis Cousins. Nope. Destin Bennett. Gainesville keeps running at you. Jake Godlock. William, they tried the onside kick and it didn't work. Was that Godlock or Leverett? I, I can't tell. I think it was. I think it was Godlock. But it might have been Leverett because Leverett's fixing to get the ball on the screen pass. The highest Leverett. And Monty Cross finally drags him down at the eight. So Gainesville trying to put it away early here in the second half. 21 to eight. First and goal from the eight. Straightened up and threw it over there to Cantrell. Got down to about the two. And pilot Wade Phillips was there to help stop him. Along with Will Cape. Down to the one. Second goal. Deshaun Watson. See if he calls his own number and jump pass to Cantrell and he was nailed immediately by Kate. But the play was basically over. And the clock continues to run, which is kind of interesting. Wonder if they've noticed that yet. No. They might wind up having to put some time back on the clock. Back it back up to the eight. Clock has continued to run this whole time. Second and goal from the eight. Must have been a procedure penalty. <laughs> now they roll the clock again. I guess they figure it doesn't matter much. And that was Godlock. Touchdown. He hit Jay Godlock eight yards and six more points. 9.57 in the third. Watson to Godlock. Well, that's yeah. quick. They just run down the field, don't they? Yeah, they do. Aiden rising. Uh, let's see. He is four for four. Nine fifty-seven in the third. Twenty-eight eight. Gainesville has opened up a twenty-eight point lead, and there you see the stretch by Godlock as Phillips tried to keep him out of the end zone to Norvell. We're back in a moment. All County Sports Game of the Week. What does Applied Images Incorporated mean? It means real people answering the phone. It means real people servicing your business or school. Quick response along with quality production is demanded in our world of business today and no one knows that better than Applied Images Incorporated. After years of working with graphic artists, marketing managers, public relations departments, architects and engineers, we have developed an extensive experience in our trade that is second to none. We excel in our knowledge of graphics and printing, signs, banners, posters, brochures, training manuals, for schools and businesses. And now custom t-shirt printing is available. You must see our line of t-shirt designs. 
What does Applied Images Incorporated mean? It means quick response, quality production, and real people answering the phone. Churches, businesses, schools, picnics, trade show displays. Call us today for any printing or graphics needs that you may have. Applied Images Incorporated at Gainesville White Print, 312 Bradford Street in Gainesville, 770-534-2086. Proper maintenance is vital to the life of your car. Let the experts at Mountain View Auto Repair take care of all your vehicle needs. Owner Danny Hammock has over 50 years of experience in the automotive business and has earned a reputation of being honest and fair with his customers. We try to treat everybody like I want to be treated. You know, that works out pretty good. And uh, Try to keep a price as low as possible to keep people coming in and give them a good price for their money. We do whatever turns up on a car, any kind of work, any kind of car, just uh, it don't really matter. We do it all. People say, when are you going to quit and retire? I say, oh, probably never. You know, as long as the Lord let me work, I'll probably be here working. I've been trading with Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair for about 20 years. I've always been very happy with his work. It's very easy for me to talk with him. He doesn't talk down to me. He explains it in a manner that I can understand. Most of my customers are like friends here. You know, I've known them so long, and I count them as, most all of them as friends to me. Remember, when you want honest, reliable service, put Mountain View Auto Repair under your hood. Lahias Levitt, Jay Godlock. Watson all on the bench there. The people that kind of were making it happen on that drive. Well, they were. Abraham Rivas got it teed up. See if he can kick it deep again. Kicks it high and short. Taken at the 12 by Phillips to the 20, the 25, 27, and knocked down there. Ray Phillips makes the run back to the third Kick coverage team. Jeremiah Ledbetter given credit for making that tackle. Well, the hole will put it in play at their 26. Well, they've been a second half team all year. Let's see if that holds true tonight. They're going to have to be a second half team or they're going to find themselves out of the game. Well, they tried that onside kick, which didn't go their way. And now they line up cross. And the quarterback slot or the Wildcat slot. Same position, basically, that I believe he lost Sean Jordan. Watson. Alex Muckle, Michael Pittman blitzing through there, and he lost a yard. Devin Stringer also might have been in on that. Elephants kind of fly out of the ball. William North Hall's not a bad football team, and Gainesville's got them by 20. And you got to kind of figure, my goodness, what must Buford be? <laughs> They're unreal. I saw them earlier in the year, year and they, they are. They're just unbelievable, big and fast. Gainesville has lost to Buford, and there is Brown is going to be gang tackled. The elephants just eat him up. They help him up. Pittman does. He might have been the one that knocked him down. He said, well, I knocked him down. I can help him back up. Connor Calvert also over there around the ball. No game. Dead even on the 25 on the far side hash. If they don't hurry up, they're going to get a little leg game. We got a quick clock tonight. But uh, Phillips and Jones wide out here to the left. Phillips in motion. And Amani Cross wants to throw. Going to be picked off. Intercepted by Fred Payne. Payne is off to the races. He's got an escort. He's got blockers. Payne hurdles. Got a and in the flags back. fly all over the place. It was kind of gummed up by one of the big North Hall offensive linemen. He kind of got in everybody's way, and finally they trip number 73 for North Hall, senior Eric Carroll. But watch this. There's the pick. 
Now, watch it pick up blockers. It is going to be an illegal block against Gainesville, but this is a fine run. Look at this. He has just got an escort down through there. And there's kind of your block in the back right there. Still gives them good field position, obviously, at the 18. First and 10. Watson to throw. Has he got a man open? He does. Touchdown. Touchdown to Lahias Leverett. Watson has got a part of every touchdown tonight. I guess it was just inside the 18, so I'll have to give him a 17-yard pass. But Leverett was all by himself over there. Well, he's caught five passes now. Leverett has. He's got an 18-yarder and a 17-yarder in this half alone. And there is the kick by Aiden Rising, and it is good again. 35-8, Gainesville leading North Hall now. We're back in a moment the Hall County Sports Game of the Week. This program is also brought to you by Longstreet Cafe, now with two locations in Gainesville, 1043 Riverside Terrace and 405 Pearl Nicks Parkway. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Saturday. Longstreet's got the reputation for Gainesville's fastest drive through and the best fried chicken you'll ever sink your teeth into, plus veggies, a full salad bar, and great desserts. Check today's menu at www.longstreetcafe.com. Call a friend and meet them for a hearty meal at Longstreet Cafe, where they put the home in the cooking. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, it's okay. Ashley just told me she might have an STD, but she doesn't know what to do about it. Eric told me he went to the Gainesville Care Center to be tested. I thought they just did pregnancy tests. Oh no, not only that. They test for uh, gonorrhea, chlamydia, HIV, and herpes. I'm gonna leave and help with the treatment. But the best part is it's free and confidential. She'll be so relieved to know what to do. Thanks. Sure. Hi, I'm Mitzi, nurse manager for the Gainesville Care Center. Chlamydia is the most common bacterial STD and a leading cause of sterility. Most people with chlamydia don't know they have it. Gonorrhea is another bacterial STD that has high infection rates in teens. Herpes and HIV are with you for life, but it's important to know so that you can get ongoing help from your doctor. Teens are at a high risk for any STD. Our testing is by urine or finger prick. We're confidential and we care. Call our 24-hour helpline for an appointment. All right, William, here we go. Watson looks, looks, and there, watch Lahias Levert get behind just about everybody. Faulkner came over at the last minute, but it was too late. Now, Abraham Rivas to boot it away. Rivas of the orange shoes puts this one to the one. Phillips on the return, 10, 15, the 20, the 25, and there's a flag at the 34. Our officiating crew has been awfully busy tonight. Well, they have. The... Uh the near officials association are referees Russ Nelson, umpires Carlton Reeves, head linesman's Toby Winkler, line judges Van Lucifer, field judges Stephen Cardell, side judges Joe Williams, back judges Chris Smoose, and the clock operator Ricky Terrell. And they're discussing something right now. There was a flag at the 34. We even look, there's another flag over at the 16. Well, we got two fouls here. We got a block in the back on North Hall. And we got a face mask on Gainesville. We're going to offset. Going to re-kick. Okay, so they don't put the ball where it is. They'll just re-kick. 
Flowery Branch continues to roll. The Falcons must be awesome this year. They were beating Cedar Shoals badly. 42 to nothing, I think. That And that game at this point of our game is not over. Of course, by the time you see the replay, it will be in the books, and it looks like the branch is on the way to staying undefeated. Noel Hall huddled over there on the sidelines. They are, the officials are waiting for them to get back out so they can re-kick. We'll have Salem at Flower Branch on October the 28th. That'll be the game day. And then, of course, we'll have our replay the following Thursday. And we take next week off for the highlight show, William. And then where are we? Well, we got Chesty at North Hall. Should be a good one. September 30th. And then the replay on the following Thursday. And Gilmer fumbles and gets to the five, the six, the seven. Now he's just going to be eaten up. By the kick coverage team. Well, you can't afford to fumble those kickoffs. That's, that's a kiss of death, I'm afraid. Stringer. Graham. UFO. A lot of people converging to make sure that the Trojans start from another hole. And they will. And they haven't had good field position all night. The 41 yard line is the best they've had. And Monty Cross will try to turn the corner if they start from their eight. Just inside the eight. Fred Payne all the way over there. And Jeremiah Ledbetter now playing some defense. For the Red Elephants, Michael Pittman also. Chesty was leading Dawson County. So Chesty North Hall ought to be a pretty good game. He got three or four. And mm -hmm. now bullying his way up the middle, close to first down. I believe you got it. Is, uh, going to be Zach Little. Is it Zach Little or Duckworth? Let me see who they, they it's the same guy that's 45 or 46. He didn't come out. That time they give it to Cross. Nope, it was uh it's 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 the same guy and it is 40 it's gonna be 45 no it's a little exactly okay, little. little i think he had one carry in the first half yeah the, their their fives curl up on those norm hall uniforms so they look almost like sixes and with naked eyes which is what i've got here from the distance we are to walt snelling press box it's hard for me to tell Zach Little, 45. This time they do give it to Cross. He's going to get close to first down pretty yardage much, over there. Pretty much doing that all on his own. The blocking of the Trojan line was not particularly good on that play. And Cross just made something of nothing and picked up about seven yards. That's another Bryn first down. Bryn Quez Dukes, number 40 now in the ball game, a 5'9", 175 pound sophomore. Got to the 31, first and 10 Trojans. We're all trying to make something happen here. They faked the cross. And give it to Zach Little again. J.J. Johnson, is he... AJ's brother. AJ's brother? I don't know. I don't know. Gina, see if you can find that out. If JJ is AJ's brother or cousin or any kin at all. <laughs> AJ playing for the Volunteers of Tennessee now. Second Starting. and five. Cross. First down. 
We got late penalties coming in. Don't know what that could be. This is face mask. Michael Pittman in on that stop. Yeah, two flags over there. Face mask. Connor Calvert. Face mask will extend that run. So North Hall continues to move. And they need to to get back into this one. 15 yard penalty. All the way down to the 43 of the Red Elephants. Brown on the, the turnaround to Zach Little and a late flag. It's going to be personal foul on the Elephants. I think you're probably right. You are correct, sir. And he tackled the quarterback. Didn't have the football. Hmm. Brown was carrying out his fate, and they carried out their tackling. And got the penalty for it. And the penalties are mounting up there for Gainesville here in this half. 50 yards so far on four penalties. They only had three in the first half. All the way down to the 28 of the Elephants. First and 10 and Imani Cross. Right side tackle now slants back to the middle. Dragging Red Elephants with him. Holding on and finally dragging him down, Alex Muckle. Got 10 yards on that carry. Close to a first down. No, nope. they say now the first it was down. supposed to be second in inches, but first they looked at ten. it again, gave him the first down. Down to the 17 and a half. Brown under center. Hands off to the second back, not cross. That's going to be little again. He has been in the in the backfield for this drive. Is that second back? Yes. Dallas to four in on that stop. Trying to see Zach is a little scat back kind of guy. Listed as a sophomore. Only got a couple, second and eight. Down to the 16. Getting a little late in the quarter now. And there is Imani Cross trying to push people out of the way. And that gives people time to check, catch up. He only got a yard or two. J.J. Johnson. And on the stop. Well, this would ordinarily be a passing down, but North Hall can't pass a lick, so well, there, I guess it'd be a run. They're old for the passing game, and then taking off with it is the quarterback, and he fooled everybody on on his great fake executed. Calvert preventing the touchdown. Bradley Brown gets them down to first and goal. Line of scrimmage looks like it's the two. Trojans trying to claw their way back into this thing. 13 it, yards on that carry. Williams says they have been a, a second half team. They look like it so far. Imani Cross bulls his way into the end zone. Sheer leg drive by the big guy. Imani Cross with a two yard touchdown. Smash. William, he pushed his way in with two or three guys hanging on him. I don't know if they're going to be able to execute the, uh, the swinging gate again. 
And they tried it once before. No, Eli Gilmer, who tossed it over to Cross for the first one, is just going to drop back and hold now. It was a high snap. He got it down. and We're going to have rough in the kicker on it, too. It's good. The kick by uh, Modesto Cruz is good. And it's 35-15. And probably will have this assist on the kickoff. 2.30 left to play in the third. It is 35-15. Gainesville by 20 on the Hall County Sports Game of the Week. There are hundreds of options when choosing apparel or promotional items at Jake Iyer Advertising and the Trophy Case. We're all about quality and competitive pricing. Sports items are in stock. Look for special pricing on Letterman jackets, corporate apparel, corporate gifts, and custom embroidery. All local high schools should check out the line of spirit wear and trophies. We're also offering custom screen printing available for any team sport. Be on the winning side when you choose Jake Iyer Advertising and the Trophy Case. Locally owned and operated at 250 Dawsonville Highway, Gainesville. Call 770-718-0062 or on the web at jgeyer.com and trophycaseltd.com. If you're tired of paying high prices, go on down and visit the good folks at Dave's Goody Barn. The buyers for the store travel the globe, searching for the greatest deals so the savings can be passed along to you. They purchase from insurance companies due to fires, floods, and other natural disasters. Most of this merchandise is in near perfect condition. So if you're tired of paying high prices, hurry on down to Dave's Goody Barn or visit their website at davesgoodybarn.com. What's there today may be gone tomorrow. We are back. Modesto Cruz. No relation. Half brother. Modesto Cruz is going to punch one short. Going to be taken by the Elephants at about the 10 or 12 yard line. Dallas to four covering it. So JJ is AJ's half brother. Which half? A Johnson apparently. <laughs> this is probably the worst field position games we've had anyway. Uh, at their own 14. By far. They've had the ball three times in North Hall territory to start a drive. Looks like Watson's checking off. And here's the play. And the checkoff is I keep it. And I run for a big first down. Yep. Eli Gilmore was over there. Watson with his arms and his legs sparked the Gainesville offense tonight. Before you can get lined up good, they go again. And this time was it's Thomas. What number is he? Six, I believe. Ray Ray Thomas. Ray Ray Thomas. This time Watson hands off and it is no no gain. That time Trey Harrison got nothing. Third and five. Definitely a passing down. Harrison comes back. They fake. A lot of pressure. And Watson just airs it way, way out. And Mason comes up and gets it. And he's going to score. Diving into the end zone. Stephen Mason. 56 and a half yards. Came back on that one. From the 43, 57 yard pass on Sportsmanlike on North Hall. Stephen Mason 
hauls it in. That was a fine catch it by was. Mason. And Watson's perfect in this half, five for five. Now with two 57 touchdowns. Seven yards. Trey Harrison had to be, be stretched out on that one. I think he cramped a little bit maybe. Let's see if rising, rising is right now um, five for five on extra points. See if he can go six for six. Out of the hold of Ryan Griffith. Officials had to get in position, and now that's now what do they do? Timeout, North Hall. North Hall takes a timeout. We'll keep it here for this one. Remind you that next week in this time is our highlight show, and then we are at. Well, we at North Hall. William, did you say we are at North Hall? We're at North Hall, Chester at North Hall on September the 30th. The Which show will be seen to be shown that next Thursday after that, for the first time. That'll be the 6th of October. It'll be shown. So that will be at our halfway point of our broadcast season. Remind you again to patronize our sponsors, Dave's Goody Barn, the car store, Long Street Cafe, as well as our other sponsors, Gainesville State College, Gainesville Care Center, Iron Beast Barbell, Auto Works Garage, McEver Road, United Methodist Church, Metal Roofing Sales, Mountain View Auto Repair, Rucksack Military, Lion's Den, Family Hair Care, Applied Images, Gainesville White Print, Conditioned Air Systems, Precision Pressure Washing, Dr. Brad Dixon Dentist, J. Guy Advertising and the Trophy Case in Georgia, Trophy and Awards. We thank all of them very much. Rising to attempt to go six for six. The kick is on the way. It's very high, and it's powerful, and it's good. 42-15. We're back in a moment. All County Sports Game of the Week. Hi, I'm Rob Bruce. I'm the new pastor here at McEver Road United Methodist Church. And one of the things I've noticed here in Hall County is the number of churches that are here, and that is a great blessing. But it can also be a problem if you're trying to find a new church or you're investigating Christianity for the first time. There's so many churches and it seems like there's so little time. Well, we invite you to be our guest at McEver Road United Methodist. We will not give you a high pressure approach. You can come in, make up your own mind at one of three of our worship services. We have three diverse worship services, one at 830, which is a gospel format service. We have a 10 o'clock service, which is not contemporary. Uh, but it's uh, something more edgy and different, and we'd like to invite you to that if that's your style. And then at 11 o'clock, we have a traditional Methodist service. So we'd love for you to come be our guest and uh, come and see. What does Applied Images Incorporated mean? It means real people answering the phone. It means real people servicing your business or school. Quick response along with quality production is demanded in our world of business today and no one knows that better than Applied Images Incorporated. After years of working with graphic artists, marketing managers, public relations departments, architects and engineers, we have developed an extensive experience in our trade that is second to none. We excel in our knowledge of graphics and printing, signs, banners, posters, brochures, training manuals, for schools and businesses. And now, custom t-shirt printing is available. You must see our line of t-shirt designs. What does Applied Images Incorporated mean? It means quick response, quality production, and real people answering the phone. Churches, businesses, schools, picnics, trade show displays. Call us today for any printing or graphics needs that you may have. Applied Images Incorporated at Gainesville White Print, 312 Bradford Street in Gainesville, 770-534-2086. We're back. Abraham Rivas to kick it away. And they back Gainesville up. We got him for that personal foul after the touchdown. A 
for unsportsmanlike conduct. So, North Hall ought to have pretty good field position here. I say ought to. Gary Glenn, William Howington, Gina Gailey, Ty Crew, Nick Wright, Nick Wright, Alex Howington, Jessica Giles, Tracy Giles, of course. Crew chief, Tracy Giles. Revis kind of chopped his steps a little bit. Phillips saw field it on the bounce. And Wade's going to get to almost midfield. Nice run back. A lot of the younger guys on the kick coverage team, maybe. I saw ninth grader Lewis Cousins coming off the bottom of the pile. Games were scored on their last five possessions. Well, they're, they're celebrating their 1,000th game in Gainesville history, and the governor was here, and Monty Cross is going to race for the first down marker where they can get very close to it. Looks like he got nine yards. Red Payne, the 5'9", 165-pound junior free safety that came into this one with 21 tackles on the year, and he's had a bunch tonight. Now you see Cross get hit right there, breaks that tackle. Gets hit again by Payne, and Payne wraps him up. J.J. Johnson was falling down, but Payne had already knocked him out. There goes Cross to get the first down. Cross is tough. Gets seven yards that time. Michael Pittman and Connor Calvert. And on that stop, last seconds of the third quarter here. And somebody is down over there. And let me see. I think it's Cross. It might be Imani. You know, he missed most of the, a lot of the season last year, William, and was not at full speed because of an Achilles injury. Well, if that's his Achilles, uh, they're in serious trouble. I think it's just a cramp. It looks like they're stretching that leg out. Well, he's played the whole game. He hardly ever comes out, and he's run the ball a thousand times tonight. How many times has he carried it? And he's been playing linebacker, too, so. 25 carries. That was his 25th carry right here. And he's played some as the quarterback and the Wildcat. And I think it was just a cramp. He is walking off. There you see pretty good lick. He had to break a couple of tackles. And the replay you saw there. Well, they're a different football team without him. There's no question about that. Scored all four touchdowns against Jefferson. First and ten Trojans, though. The ball is at the 38. Let's see. Zach Little and I think it was Faulkner in there carrying the ball. That time with Cross getting a breather. We've seen Caleb Faulkner in on offense. And that's who it was. He got four. Second and six at the end of the quarter. 42-15, Gainesville leads going to the fourth. The Hall County Sports TV Game of the Week. If you are looking for a quality used car, then look no further than the car store on McKevra Road between Gainesville and Buford. You won't find clunkers or junkers at the car store, just vehicles you'll be proud to own. At the car store, they can finance you on the spot, no matter what your credit is. They have a variety of plans. You can even phone your payments in. At the car store, they've been giving outstanding service to the community for over 20 years. At the car store, everybody rides. Come on down to the car store. We can make you happy. My name's Bob Watson, and I guarantee it. 
At Gainesville State College, students can engage in a challenging learning experience in a supportive and nurturing environment. With a vision to be recognized as the region's premier teaching institution, GSC promotes academic freedom and scholarship in a caring, collegial, and fun environment. At GSC, you will receive the one-on-one -on -one attention you need to help you be successful in your academics, as well as build strong foundations for life. Gainesville State College, student-focused, learning-centered. Visit us on the web at www.gsc.edu. First play of the fourth quarter. Gainesville on top by 27. North Hall trying to cut into that. And Brown is going to have it pop loose. I think maybe he got knocked back on top of it for a minute, but let me see. Let me see. Gainesville saying they got it. Penalty flag down. Was that the bean bag for the fumble? Might have been Stringer that came up on top of personal it. Personal foul. That was a flag. Personal foul on North Hall. So not only do the games will get the ball, they're going to get the ball with 15 extra yards. All the way down to the 39. Well, nerves are running a little raw, I'm afraid. I'm afraid you're right. Deshaun Watson has had a part of every Gainesville touchdown, either passing or running. This time, the handoff to Godlock. And he gets four and a half. Down to the 34. As quick as they get set, they're going to run again. Faulkner on the stop. Watson audibleizing, telling people what to do. Snapping somebody's chin strap. Snapping Godlock's chin strap. Yeah. And Watson over the middle. In stride. Cantrell touchdown. 34 yards and six more points and another touchdown for Deshaun Watson. He's got seven on the night, either passing or running. Thirty-four yards and man was he open. Look at this, William catches it in stride at about the 13 or 14 and just runs on in. Rising to kick. And he is seven for seven on extra points. 49-15. We're back in a moment, the Hall County Sports Game of the Week. Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's okay. Ashley just told me she might have an STD, but she doesn't know what to do about it. Eric told me he went to the Gainesville Care Center to be tested. I thought they just did pregnancy tests. Oh no, not only that. They test for uh, gonorrhea, chlamydia, HIV, and herpes. I'm gonna leave and help with the treatment. But the best part is it's free and confidential. She'll be so relieved to know what to do. Thanks. Sure. Hi, I'm Mitzi, nurse manager for the Gainesville Care Center. Chlamydia is the most common bacterial STD and the leading cause of sterility. Most people with chlamydia don't know they have it. Gonorrhea is another bacterial STD that has high infection rates in teens. Herpes and HIV are with you for life, but it's important to know so that you can get ongoing help from your doctor. Teens are at a high risk for any STD. Our testing is by urine or finger prick. We're confidential and we care. Call our 24-hour helpline for an appointment. This program is also brought to you by Long Street Cafe, now with two locations in Gainesville, 1043 Riverside Terrace and 405 Pearl Nicks Parkway. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Saturday. 
Long Street's got the reputation for Gainesville's fastest drive through and the best fried chicken you'll ever sink your teeth into. Plus veggies, a full salad bar, and great desserts. Check today's menu at www.longstreetcafe.com. Call a friend and meet them for a hearty meal at Long Street Cafe, where they put the home in the cooking. All right, William, here you go. Pass from Deshaun Watson. Look at that touch on that ball. Hits him in stride. Caught it at about the 14 and a half. Takes it on in. By the way, one correction. It was number 95, Wesley Cooper, not 91, Aiden Rising, who kicked that PAT. So Rising is six for six, and Cooper is one for one. Now they got another kicker to kick off. Alberto Murillo. Kicks it out of bounds. Kicks it out of bounds. Well, they won't let him kick off anymore after that. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have the ball at 35-yard line. I don't think they'll make them re-kick. 35 is pretty good position. On the kick out of bounds, can't do that anymore. We, you know, way back in the dark ages, you could, you could do that, kick them in a the corner and all that stuff. If you could, if you could position it like that. Well, it used to make you re-kick. Now they just give you that option of having the 35. Brown just can't get away. Gainesville defense has just swarmed him at the 30. Knocks him back five yards. Ton of red shirts there. Five-yard loss, second and 15. Fred Payne leading the charge, but there was a whole bunch of other people in there too. Bryn Quez Dukes, 5'9", 175-pound sophomore linebacker. Bryn Quez wears number 40. Second and 15 for the Trojans. Gainesville now with a 34-point lead. And they're going to give it to Zach Little, who's going to be knocked out of bounds on the far side of the field. Picked up seven yards, though. De Dallas to four and J.J. Johnson combining on the stop. Third and eight. Line of scrimmage is now the 37. On the hash mark. Nose of the football. Gainesville, by the way, is at Franklin County next week. North Hall will host Walnut Grove. By the way, William, I'll be doing that game on the radio as we take the night off. Over on Glory 1330 and 1330.com. A little trap. Spin around. J.J. Johnson on the stop. That was Stephen Mason on the carry. Eli Gilmer. I mean, uh, Eli Gilmer. Why do I keep doing that? It's called old age. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Although you're probably right. Eli Gilmer, number 10 for the Trojans. Stephen Mason, number 10 for the Red Elements. I should have just left him number 16. We wouldn't be having that problem. Mm. Trojans got a man wide to the right, and they're going for it on fourth and four. And Eli, rather, uh, uh, Imani Cross is going to be brought up short of the first down. He is not going to make it. J.J. Johnson and the rest of the Red Elephants bring him up about a half a yard shy. They're going to measure. I don't but think it appears as they are a football link shy. At least. There we go. There you see Johnson and the rest of them pushing him back. <laughs> you see, look at you Pain. see Fred Payne giving it a look. Fred says, no, you didn't make it, bud. I don't think he made it either. Oh, yeah. It's just fourth down. I don't know where they're going. 
They're going to go for it. You better get uh, back out there. Half yard. That was fourth down. Oh. That was fourth down. Oh, okay. Now, they put the offense fault. back I thought in. that was third down. Nope. That's, what I, that's the old age creeping in there. <laughs> well, games with football. They got the substitutions that we need to know about. Let's see. Do I have to scrap my, my no, original it starting? Like it. Like Watson's still in there. Ray Ray Thomas. Official name Ray Sean. 5'3", 125 pounds, sophomore. And they call him Ray Ray. Picked Number up six. Six. Yeah. six for six. Thomas again bounces out. Still scrambling around. He, just he had two or three yards, but I believe he bounced off like a pinball, and I believe he ended up. With no game. Scooting around. Brandon Dyer making the stop for the Trojans. And Cape also as he bounced around. Gainesville just kind of, and they throw it to Mason to get the first down. They were just kind of trying to keep it on the ground. They throw to Mason for the first down. Justin Jones making the stop. First and 10 elephants at the 25. Thomas on the carry again. Games were trying to eat up the clock now. Eric Garner, defensive end. Tackles Thomas after a one. They're not eating game. it very effectively as fast as they're going. They're, they're going so fast I can't even keep up with it. Pass goes out to Thomas who will struggle and not get first down yardage as the Trojans gang tackle him across the way. Taylor Ryder over there to help secure things. Third and five. Gunner over there too. Third and five at the 20. Watson's perfect for this second half. He's seven of seven. Wow. Being chased now. Of course, now that I said that. No, he does throw an yeah, Just he threw it, and Mason couldn't quite hang on to it, but a pretty good lick was fetched over there, too, as the collision. Drake Hollander was. That was Griffin uh, intended for. Number 18, Ryan Griffith. Griffith. Yeah, it was. Of, it was Griffith, not, not instead Mason. Instead of Mason. Fourth and five. They asked Bruce Miller and the Brain Trust over there, what do you want us to do? And they said, well, we'll go for it. Yeah, you don't punt from there at the 20-yard line. Deshaun Watson will scramble for the first down and a whole lot more. In fact, he got in. Touchdown. On a fourth 15, and five run. 20 yards. 20 yards. 20 yards. Deshaun Watson is still a part of every Gainesville touchdown. Uh-oh, we got a flag on the play. On sportsmanlike conduct. Is that touchdown going to count? I think so. I think it probably came after. Well, let's see. There you see the run again. and Made some great effort over some Trojan tacklers. Coach Miller won't be happy with these penalties. I can tell you that. They'll be kicking off from the 25-yard line. Now Cooper comes back in to see if he can go two for two on extra points. Griffith to hold. There's the snaps down. And, oh, I think he got it maybe partially blocked so that's the first miscue of the Gainesville offensive night but they still lead by 40 Gilmer giving credit for the block they lead it by 40 here 715 to play in the Hall County Sports game of the week
Gainesville State College, students can engage in a challenging learning experience in a supportive and nurturing environment. With a vision to be recognized as the region's premier teaching institution, GSC promotes academic freedom and scholarship in a caring, collegial, and fun environment. At GSC, you will receive the one-on-one -on -one attention you need to help you be successful in your academics, as well as build strong foundations for life. Gainesville State College, student-focused, learning-centered. Visit us on the web at www.gsc.edu. If you are looking for a quality used car, then look no further than the car store on McKeever Road between Gainesville and Buford. You won't find clunkers or junkers at the car store, just vehicles you'll be proud to own. At the car store, they can finance you on the spot, no matter what your credit is. They have a variety of plans. You can even phone your payments in. At the car store, they've been giving outstanding service to the community for over 20 years. At the car store, everybody rides. Come on down to the car store. We can make you happy. My name's Bob Watson, and I guarantee it. Well, there you have it, William. Those guys have had a lot of offense tonight, haven't they? Well, they're they on have. the bench right there. Especially Watson. He's had a part of every Gainesville touchdown. And I've run out of room, so if they get another one, I'm going to have to just kind of scribble it in somewhere. Game, the penalty was on North Hall instead of Gainesville, so Gaines will be kicking off from the North Hall 45-yard line. Murillo will boot it, and they'll watch it kick out of bounds again, so it's still going to be North Hall ball at the 35. No, it won't be at the 35. Well. It'll be at the 20. 20. It'll be at the 20. 20, okay. Well, they're putting it at the 35, but the ball's supposed to be The ball's supposed to be 25 yards from where you kick it from. That's not right. And one of I think one of the officials is going to discuss that now. Yeah. Because they were under the impression that, like I was. But you are right, sir. Looks like they're going to move it back. Because they kicked it off. In the Buford rolling again. I, I don't know that teams in 5A could stay with Buford. Not many of them could. Now the, uh, the official discussion is where to put the ball. They're going to give North Hall a choice because it's supposed to be at the 20. They can make them re-kick it. They can just say, all right, you get the ball at the 20 or you can make them re-kick after a five-yard penalty. I'm sure they're going to make them re-kick. Now, 35 is one thing, but 20 is another. 20 is a whole different animal. You might figure you could get a return because Murillo hadn't been able to kick it very deep. In fact, he's kicked it out of bounds both times. It's going to be a re-kick. Yeah, they just, they just forgot the rule. Well, you know, in a game like this, it's kind of, that would be an easy thing to do. Yeah. I don't know all of them. I haven't had a rules clinic since I coached, which has been 20 years ago now. Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thinking, you know, the game is pretty much not in doubt with a 40-point lead and 7-15 to play. So no, there's, I don't think there's, it's the, there's the illegal procedure call. So now, now they put Rivas back in to kick it. Because Murillo has kicked it out of bounds twice. So, you know what may wind up this being anyway, William? Yeah, touchback. Get, get it on the 20 anyway. <laughs> out of all of this song and dance. And here we go. Let's see what Revis does with it. Revis is on his own island. That's in reference to pro football's Revis. Yeah, that's in the end zone. He's got orange shoes. Those orange shoes want to put it in there. Yep. That meant for that he couldn't kick it into the end zone. So we're at the 20. He put it uh, out of the back of the end zone on the bounce. So Abraham has led them to the promised land of the end zone. Oh, my. It's getting late. I tell you. That last seven possessions for Gainesville have, has resulted in a touchdown. And North Hall is just trying to, I guess, save face here. Salvage something. Yeah, salvage something. I no, don't just see work, cross work, in just, there. Just, yeah, just 
work I, on your stuff. And I can't imagine Cross will be back in the game. No. He's too valuable to lose. Let's see, I'm sure the, we'll go heavy into the benches now. Let's see who that was. That was uh, Gilmer. Gilmer on the carry. It's like. Well, I don't think they're going to substitute Jeremiah Ledbetter, given credit for the tackle. I don't think North Hall's going to substitute that much, except for maybe Cross. That's 47 carrying the ball, isn't it? Dyer? Yes, Dyer. Picked up two. Third and four. Jones comes wide to the right. Oh. He won't want to run that again. I wouldn't want to run that any more this season. That was going to be the result. Brown is slow to get up. To Darius Sosby. They're on the stop. Royce Freeman. They've substituted. Fourth down is six to go. Now it'll be a punt situation for North Hall. Gaines was not trying to block it. They're holding them up. They're going to return it. And it's going to hit. so short they can't bounce. return it. Rolls dead at about the 48. 27-yard 20, punt. Ethan Nunley ran down there and downed it. And uh, the Red Elephants will be back in business at the 48. Let's see. Now we're going to start going deep into the roster. Mikey Gonzalez yep, at quarterback. Mikey, Mikey Gonzalez. Mikey likes it. Hands off to Ray Ray Thomas. Ray Ray got his helmet taken off. That was Dylan Trulove on the stop. Let me see if it was 76 or 78. Mikey Gonzalez, he's your quarterback. Throws it over here to Griffith, who lets it fall out of his hands. I think that's 76, Dylan Trulove in there on the, with the Trojans on the tackle. Mm, that incomplete pass stops the clock. It just I guess, Does it have to start in the fourth quarter to be a 30-point lead for it to be a running clock? I, I guess so. so. Almost Mike a great Gonzalez. grab. Yeah, almost a great grab out there by yeah. number 83. Chasing Newman. Mm -hmm. But it was not. It'll be fourth and about 13. Let's see if he's the backup punter and is going to try one of those rugby-style jobs or if they're actually going for it. No, nope. nah, he's the backup rugby man. And it's going to roll down about the 23. Griffith downed it down there, so the Trojans will come back out on offense. Now they're just going to work on a few things. Ball is on the 24. Chester T will take another win over Dawson County. Or Eagles are undefeated on the season. 
And now North Hall has got another quarterback in there. And the running back is Zach Little. Picked up about four on that play. Quarterback is Walt Snelling is giving up his duties of announcing tonight. I hope right, I think I think uh, maybe his son. Breaking in a new generation. Trying to see who that new North Hall quarterback is. And I believe it is number eight. Number two, Stephen Murray. Number two or number eight? Number two. Okay. They don't have a number eight. All right, number two. No gain, third down and six. No gain on the play, third and six. And the clock moves to three minutes left in the game. Yeah, that's a two, but on the front it looks it's like hard. an eight. Some of these numbers are hard to pick up. That's a nice toss, and I believe he's going to have first down. down. Is that number 28 to carry the ball? 26, I think. Taron Carver. All right, it might have been 28, though. Might have been Cape. But 26. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going with 26 because that's what it looked like through the field glasses. That's Zach Little. Including the tackle, Maurice Tanner, DeAndre Borders. North Hall's going faster with this second crew than they did with the first crew. Well, it's the Gainesville second crew, though, as well. I don't mean rushing-wise. I'm talking about they're faster. You know, they had all those delay game penalties. And that was a nice carry that time by number 20, Drake Hollander. Got a first down. Hollander gets the first down. And going to the final 100 seconds of this one. Fumble on the Fumble. snap. Yep. Gainesville thinks they've got it. And they do. William, that's what, the third North Hall fumble they've lost tonight, number 64. That's the second one they've lost. That's their third fumble. Coming up with it, uh, Danny Flores covers that fumble. 64 for the Red Elephants. At the 44. And we may not see a lot of offense here for the Red Elephants. Mikey Gonzalez is the quarterback. They are going to run a play or two. Hand off to Brinquez Dukes. What number is he? Number 46. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Gonzalez pass is complete. Over to Rodney Lackey. Devin make it um, Will Cape on the stop. Got five, third and five. Headed toward 30 seconds to play in the game. And look at this. Michael Bird on the carry. Gets a first down for the Red Elephants. And they may just start kneeling on it now. Oh, they're going to let the second unit try to score. Falling down that time. 
was Michael Berg. 17 seconds, 16 seconds. And 14 and a half seconds. Personal foul. Personal foul against the Red Elephants. That'll back them up. Well, that was definitely on them that time, and that's five 15 yard penalties on them in the second half. Gainesville will head to two and one on the season. North Hall will fall to 0 and 3. Gainesville at Franklin County next. North Hall at home with Walnut Grove. Sub region time. Now, our player of the game is obviously going to be Deshaun Watson, who had a part of every Gainesville touchdown tonight, either running or throwing. William, he's got a lot of offense too, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Mikey Gonzalez completes the pass over there to Shad Petrie. Make it Petrie, they call him, and that's the ball game. 55 15. And North Hall will try to right the ship with Walnut Grove. Gainesville will try to keep it rolling at Franklin County. 40-point win for the Red Elephants. We're back to wrap it up in just a moment and present our player of the game and all of that other stuff, a Hall County Sports TV Game of the Week. If you're tired of paying high prices, go on down and visit the good folks at Dave's Goody Barn. The buyers for the store travel the globe, searching for the greatest deals so the savings can be passed along to you. They purchase from insurance companies, due to fires, floods, and other natural disasters. Most of this merchandise is in near perfect condition. So if you're tired of paying high prices, hurry on down to Dave's Goody Barn or visit their website at davesgoodybarn.com. What's there today may be gone tomorrow. This program is also brought to you by Longstreet Cafe, now with two locations in Gainesville, 1043 Riverside Terrace and 405 Pearl Nicks Parkway. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Saturday. Longstreet's got the reputation for Gainesville's fastest drive through and the best fried chicken you'll ever sink your teeth into, plus veggies, a full salad bar, and great desserts. Check today's menu at www.longstreetcafe.com. Call a friend and meet them for a hearty meal at Longstreet Cafe, where they put the home in the cooking. Gary Glenn, William Howington back here at City Park. Bobby Grunfield, the Walt Snelling Press Box, 55-15, a 40-point win. Gainesville over North Hall. And for the Gainesville Red Elephants, it was the Deshaun Watson show. They scored eight touchdowns, and Watson had a part of all eight. Three rushing, five passing, 400 and something yards of total offense, passing and running. He is our player of the game, the Georgia Trophy player of the game. And he is standing by along with Coach Bruce Miller with our Gina Gailey. All right, Gary, thanks. Georgia Trophy Hall County Sports Player of the Game tonight. No question about that. Deshaun Watson, a phenomenal game, took control of that offense, had a hand in every point that was scored on that board. Um, you know, we just came out, practiced hard all week. And um, every, the offense line, the receivers, coaches, we all just went and practiced and came to this game knowing that uh, if we execute the plays, we can come out with the victory. Talk about this gentleman and the rest of the offense. Uh, they did a great job. You know, every time, every time it looked like things were kind of sliding, we'd, we'd go down and make something happen. And uh, this gentleman right here to my right made a lot of great calls, checked us out of a lot of bad plays. And uh, the whole offense, the line, the backs, receivers, everybody just did a great job. You have to give a shout-out to your defense as well. Our defense played super. Uh, you know, we, cut, we felt like coming in, we had to slow down the money, and we did exactly that. And uh, the kids, you know, just – they just work their stuff to death each week in practice, and I'm so proud of them. I just, just want to keep it up. On the road next week? On the road next week. Got to go to Franklin County. All right. Well, we enjoyed it. Okay. Good luck to you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Back up to you, Gary. All right, Gina, thank you. All right, here's how Watson got it started. It was a 21-yard pass to Trey Harrison at a one-yard run, which he set up with a 21-yard run. And then North Hall's Imani Cross, who, by the way, Cross scored both of the North Hall touchdowns. I guess we need to say that as well, as well as their two-point conversion. So Cross had all of the North Hall points tonight. Uh, Watson then scored on a five-yard run, which was set up by an 85-yard screen pass. Watson to Trey Harrison. And it was Watson to Jay Godlock for eight yards, 17-yard pass from Watson to Lahais Leverett. Then North Hall scored on a two-yard run by Imani Cross in the second half. That 
The North Hall touchdown coming at 2.30 in the third quarter. And then it was a 57-yard pass from Watson to Stephen Mason, 34 yards to Justin Cantrell, and then a 20-yard run by Deshaun Watson. Aiden Rising was 6 for 6 on the PAT. Wesley Cooper had one PAT for the games with Red Elephants, and Eli Gilmer blocked the last extra point attempt by the Gainesville Red Elephants. And William, as I said, uh, it was the Deshaun Watson show, and Gainesville wound up with a lot of offense, most of it because of Deshaun Watson. Well, they did. Uh, 14 first downs, uh, 20 rushes for 179 yards. Watson had 98 of those on eight carries and three touchdowns. Trey Harrison had two carries for no yardage. Lias Leverett, one carry for 10 yards. Ray Ray Thomas, five for 56. Jay Godelock, one for five. Uh, Brinquez Dukes, one for none. Michael Bird, two for ten. Passing, Watson was 16 of 23 for 329 yards and five touchdowns. Mikey Gonzalez threw four times, completed two for ten. That's 518 yards of total offense for Gainesville. Lahias Leverett caught five for 51 and a touchdown. Trey Harrison, three for 111 and a touchdown. Steve Mason, four for 83 and a touchdown. Justin Cantrell, four for 71 and a touchdown. Jay Godelock. One for eight and a touchdown. Ray Ray Thomas caught one for five. Rodney Lackey, one for five. And Chad Petrie, one for five. A lot of penalties, though. Nine for 110. I'm sure Coach Miller will want to take a look at that. And they had no fumbles, which helped their cause. North Hall had 13 first downs. 57 rushes for 228 yards. Amani Cross had 26 for 123 and two touchdowns. Caleb Faulkner had four for 16. Brand. Bradley Brown had seven for 34. Dylan Duckworth, one for seven. Eli Gilmer, four for eight. Zach Little, nine for 26. Kevin Christmas, one for four. Brandon Dyer, two for four. Taryn Carver, one for six. Drake Hollander, one for six. Passing, Brown was 0 for two, and Cross was 0 for one. 228 yards of offense. Penalties, nine for 65, and had three fumbles and lost two. So statistics bear it out. A lot of all rushing for North Hall, no pass completions. And a lot of pass completions for Gainesville. All right, and that's the story of the game. Gainesville at Franklin County next week. North Hall at home with Walnut Grove. You in this space next week. We'll see our highlight show. We'll be back for you in a couple of weeks with Chastity at North Hall. For our entire crew, Alex and William Howington, Jessica and Tracy Giles, Nick Wright, Gina Gailey, I'm Gary Glenn. You've been watching the Hall County Sports TV Game of the Week. If you're tired of paying high prices, go on down and visit the good folks at Dave's Goody Barn. The buyers for the store travel the globe, searching for the greatest deals so the savings can be passed along to you. They purchase from insurance companies due to fires, floods, and other natural disasters. Most of this merchandise is in near perfect condition. So if you're tired of paying high prices, hurry on down to Dave's Goody Barn or visit their website at davesgoodybarn.com. What's there today may be gone tomorrow.